rather than simply give the Z900RS the motor from the Z900, which we loved enough to choose as the winner in our Z900 slash Yamaha FZ09 slash Triumph Street triple comparison. Kawasaki claimed it has retuned the motor to deliver more power below 7,000 RPM. That reworking does come with a cost. However, with claimed horsepower dropping from 125 horsepower to 111, first gear is also now shorter to make pulling away from stops easier for potential new riders. And sixth, gear is taller for reduced vibration at highway speeds. It features the same 41mm inverted fork and horizontal backlink gas charged shock both of which are fully adjustable for spring preload and compression and rebound damping. The steel trellis frame is new as well, getting a redesign to better fit the stylish new tank and make for an even more upright riding position than the Z900. The new wide bar is 30mm wider, 65mm taller, and 35mm closer to the rider. The foot pegs have also been repositioned and are now 20mm lower and 20mm farther forward. The RS gets an upgrade in the braking department, with a radially mounted 4-piston monoblock front setup instead of the Z900's traditional twin 4-piston setup. Additionally, their Z900 RSs will have traction control, which for some reason did not make it onto the Z900. The Z9